wife said to pull my shirt down, so I don't know. I'm going to be the best speaker tonight because I've had nine beers and I forgot to rehearse. So I'm going to talk about how I beat a billion-dollar company with my blog, and I really did. I started a blog in 1998. I was one of the early adopter assholes that started a blog, and no one knew what they were called. And um, I got in a lot of trouble, basically. I got a letter in the mail one day from this uh, lawyer, and I was like, oh, shite. Um, it was a company called Safarth Shaw, and they said, we represent the company of Toho in Japan, and you were in a lot of trouble, bastard. And I was like, damn, who are you guys? And I was like, Toho, who is Toho? And it turns out that they're this giant company in Japan. They own all the pottery. They're a karetsu in Japan. They've been around for like two million years, and they own all the pottery in Japan and anything related to Godzilla, including that really, really shitty version with Matthew Broderick in 19... And I was like... Seriously, how could there be a movie where the old New York has no herpetologist and they have to get a guy who's a worm scientist? So I was like praying for his death every second that movie was on. It was so bad. And I was actually praying for the death of it. Anyways, they, uh, like it's can schedule, scan schedule. Uh, they told me that my uh, blog would be confused with their guy in the rubber suit and that you couldn't tell the difference between a blog and a guy in a costume. And I was like, yeah, I don't think so. So I did what anybody else would do. Plus, at the time, Mozilla had just come out as a browser, and the show Bridezilla's had moved over from the UK to America. And I thought, well, how come they're not getting in trouble, and I'm getting this damn letter from these guys? So I was like, I'm not going to do it. So I called bullshit, because that's what everybody would do. <laughs> and uh, I did what anybody normal would do. I thought, I bet I can beat these motherfuckers. I'm going to do something that they've, that's not been done. So the first thing I did was... I posted my web, my uh, thing to, you know, there was like 1,500 blogs back then, but I knew a lot of them, so I posted it to the cease and desist letter to 150 of them, um, including Metafilter, Zeldman, a bunch of these guys back then, um, and that one in the lower right is the Harvard Law site. It was awesome. 50 law firms all over the world sent me free legal advice. <laughs> yeah, and the coolest ones were these guys in Israel. They sent me like a four-inch thick binder of stuff to do, and I was like, you guys rock. This was great. So, guys, give it up for Argiopita Zilla, the one-inch long European Zilla spider. Half inch, it's actually only this big, so don't get scared. Um, but that is the first Zilla I found out about. I didn't hear you clapping for the spider. <laughs> How about Brassicaceae Zilla, the flower from sub-Saharan South A or North Africa? Yeah? That was the other Zilla I found out about. And the best one of all, they told me that Zilla is a first, middle, and last name for girls in Israel. And so there's no way they can use that name because it means shadow. And I thought, well, cool. If they can have, if they own that, they can't own that name, then that mean, and I know they can't own the name God, they're kind of screwed. So these bloggers started this campaign for me on my behalf. I didn't ask them to. Called Free Dave Zilla. And they made these little, I know that thing's like four feet wide, but it was actually only this big. Um, it was this little thing that people were putting on their blogs back then. Um, and everyone, like 4,000 bloggers by then had put it on their blogs. I was like, hey, thanks, guys. And this other dude in Australia, he made a whole site chronicling. You can't see it, cause, but it, it would be pretty long. Um, it had like 1,600 links on there of people that were linking to my story. And I started getting all these interviews. Uh, CNET, Tech TV, all these places were calling me up going, dude, what is going on? You're getting, um, getting these lawyers all riled up. And I thought, oh, that was pretty cool. I was like, hey, I'm just doing what I would sh should normally do. The, the end result, though, is that those guys couldn't own Zilla any more than they could own God, like I thought. So the, the all these people, like the CNET lawyer goes, dude, you should hear these guys on the phone. They're terrified. Every time we call them, the lawyers, they're like, who, who is this CNET? You're not calling about that Dave Zilla, are you? But it was cool because I ended up getting interviewed by Wired twice that year. I got in the front page of the New York Times. And I became a verb in the Urban Dictionary. Yeah, so Toho backed down, little chicken shits. Backed down, and I won. And it is now in the Harvard Grep Law website that you are, that I'm a precedent case. No one can do that to you. So what I'm saying to you guys is, use these blogs, use these tools. You can go change something. You can get some big asshole in your face to back down. Get your friends to help you. Because at some point, mm -hmm, at some point, you're going to have a Toho coming after you. And find out who it is and get them, okay? I'm Dayzilla. Thanks. <laughs>